The Labrador Retrievers are coming out on all platforms tomorrow, November 28th. And in honor of that, we're going to be taking on our dog Chase quail hunting for the first time ever. And we're going to be doing it on this map. This map is absolutely prime for having a hunting dog. Because, I mean, you got these really tall, thick cornfields like this. And it's super difficult to find a bird that goes down. Many times you get a couple of them. And good luck trying to remember where they all went. Well, with our dog Chase, he's going to be able to find every single one of them ah so this might be a separate flock because the ones that we're going after are on the north end and these ones are calling over here but a quail's a quail so let's see if we can't get lucky enough to get some the thing is you never know when to actually start flushing them you don't want to go too soon but yet you don't want to wait too long either it's a perfect game of you gotta have like a happy medium and right now should be the perfect moment to try and flush them all right they're taking off and i am not seeing them though so where i mean it really cut the bed much better than that go get him buddy go get him that was absolutely perfect he flew right towards us about 35 yards out put a nice little two foot lead on him and just dusted him oh there's more there's more there's more good job buddy Good job, that's a 198, and it is a male. 35 yard, perfect shot. Let's get ready, because we got some more right around the point here. And we'll try and flush them up. If they come out to this field, we'll be perfect, but if they flush out into this woods, then that could be a little bit more difficult. It would have been a lot cooler if there was more than just one, but you know what? It was still pretty awesome. All right, I'm not seeing any more. I feel like there was a lot of them, but they're probably back in that woods over there. So what we're gonna do, rather than waiting on these ones, is we're gonna go back over here to potentially jump up the rest of this flock, which they should be over here. Holy, we just jumped up a whole massive flock of quail. Look at them all out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quail, and they're all gonna land right over there at least i hope they are oh yes they are perfect so they just landed right out there roughly 115 yards out from us now what we're hoping for is that they flush this direction but what we have to do is try and swing wide left that we can kind of split the distance between us and that woods and when they flush up they should be in range all right so i think we're just about ready to start flushing them right now just want to get a little bit closer first. And right about there should be the prime location to go for them. There they go, there they go! Oh! Reload, reload, reload! There's more, there's more, there's more! Oh my god, they're gonna land, they're gonna land right here. Oh my god, here we go, here we go, here we go. Him up, baby. Wow, there's one more out there. We might be able to sky bust him. No freaking way, he's down. All right, Chase, you got a lot of work to do, buddy. A lot of work, and I'm telling you, I don't even know where one is. This is honestly going to be the most perfect location and situation for Chase to be able to go over here and find quail for us because we're out in this cotton field and they're almost impossible to spot as I see one laying right there but that's only one we got a lot make that another one another one honestly guys we took down about eight quail in this field eight quail wow that's a lot that is a lot all right Chase go for it buddy go fetch him up fetch him up boy fetch him up well, he didn't have to go too far for that one, I'll tell you that. Go get him, go get him. So what he should do is continue fetching the rest of these quail. So we're gonna see if he's gonna go get some more. Yep, looks like he's going for another one. This is a really cool feature here where you only have to hit the retreat button once and he's gonna continue on 
getting every bird in that area bringing them right back to you just like that what an amazing dog good boy that a boy and here he comes with another quail coming right back to us that a boy look at look at how he just drops them right there just so nicely good boy buddy good boy we got to make sure we give him a lot of praise and attention and he's bringing another one what do we got four laying right there and he's going for another one i believe we got two more way out there that sailed quite a ways and he's got another one and that's gonna make five good dog good dog good dog and he's going for another one and he's got another one that's gonna make six good dog and he's going for another one that should make seven and that's gonna make seven right there number seven lucky number seven and he should be going for yet one more what you're looking at is the last quail of this field a boy chase excellent job excellent job incredible so now he's actually calming down because i believe he knows that he got all the quail in this area eight quail out of one field This honestly might be our best quail day that we've ever had in Call of the Wild, like by far. To be able to take down eight quail in one single field. It's just unbelievable. It really is. Oh, look at the lighting there too. The only thing is this quail here is a little bit too far away. I don't know why he decided to drop it on the edge here, but all right, that's okay. That's okay. We can still get all these quail right here in the picture with him. Oh. Come on, look this way, Chase. Over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect picture. Perfect picture. If we can get just one more. Look at that. Look at that. Look how proud he is, too. You can tell. You did a good job, buddy. Yep, you fetched every one of those quail. All by yourself. What a good job you did. I mean, honestly, though, it's not every day where you just stack up on quail like this. It's really not, so... It was a special moment for both of us. All right, what do you say? Let's start picking some up here, huh? Let's start picking some up. There's a female, 53 yards. There's a male, 46 yards. Another male. Another female. We're still looking for a nice gold here. So far, we don't have much bronze, 32 yards. Take a look at that shot. Perfect headshot. Another bronze, 47 yards, head and chest shot. And another female. What was that? It sounded like there was another quail taken off here somewhere, but. And another female, 42 yards. That may be it. I believe so. Yep, that's it. All right, so if we look at the codex, we're going to be able to find one two three four five six seven eight quail right there nothing was too big but that was eight quail in one location pretty unbelievable good boy good boy He did a lot of work. Ran around this whole field for us and got all those quail so we can have some really good dinner. Yes, you did. Oh, he's right there. I was kind of hoping he's gonna run a little bit, but uh, anyways, go get him, Chase. Go get him, buddy. What are you doing over there? What in the heck are you doing? Somehow he got stuck 
Inside that pipe over there. Ah, boy, fetch him up. Good dog. Good dog. And we got a nice little cottontail. Out of boy. Good job, buddy. All right. Let's find these quail. Or that big hog. They went down right here, right? I don't see them. Right there. Got him. Got another one. I don't know where the rest went. I think they went into that woods. But we got two. All right, Chase, go get him, buddy. Fetch him up. Oh, he found him. And that's two more quail. Good job. boy. That's going to be another silver. And another silver. 34-yard shot. We had them all right there. But unfortunately, they did split up. We didn't know which way they were going to go. There's something on the road right over there. You know, I just realized that Chase has never actually retrieved a Canadian goose. The other day we were out on Ravatuli Coast and we did get quite a few geese, but they weren't Canadian geese, they were grayling geese. So what I want to do now is head out to Hirschfelden and see if we can't get Chase his first retrieval on a Canadian goose. Oh, I can't tell if they're going in to land or what's going on, but that's... A lot of them. Now they're not landing, but... Oh my god, they're everywhere! Oh. Well, we got our setup down over here, I believe. Yeah, 150 yards out. Quite a ways out there. Now, I'm wondering if potentially we may be able to call these in. I do believe they did land, but just not right next to us. They're a little ways out there. I'm hearing a lot, though. They all must have landed right there. Oh my god! One's right on top of us! Go, 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 go! Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they are way the heck out there. Well, this one's coming towards us. We might be able to sail this one. Oh, I tried, buddy. I tried. Couldn't quite get him. He was a little bit too far out there. But you can get your first goose right here. All right, buddy. Go get him. Go get him, buddy. He went down right over there. And there we have it. Chase has his first Canadian goose. Look at that, coming right through the cornfield. And it's actually the gray colored one as well, so that is awesome. Wow, look at that. Good job, buddy. It's a brown hybrid and we took him at 35 yards. That was a female. All right, buddy. Hey, how'd you get here so fast? Huh? How'd you get here so fast? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in. Over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we got geese coming. All right, sit still. Oh my God, there's geese everywhere. All right, you know what? You stay there, we're getting in, and we're gonna call some geese. Just don't move, because we are absolutely surrounded by geese. And this flock just broke off. That flock's already broken off, and this flock just broke off. Talk about goose paradise, holy. Tell you what, what I wouldn't do for another two guys with fully loaded shotguns right now. That would be awesome. Because we don't have near enough shells to take down this many geese. All right, let's see if we can't find a couple of decent ones out here first. As they're swinging around. Oh, he's coming right in, hold on. They're coming in perfect. They're coming in absolutely perfect. A little ways out there, but they're going to be right on us here any second. There they go! Okay, we hit that one. 
Oh, a huge four. Grey Goose, a huge four in that flock. We definitely want to make sure we get that one. Oh, attentive. I'm wondering if maybe it's because uh, Chase isn't laying down. Lay down, buddy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. I have no clue where he went. There's so many geese circling us right now. So many. There he is. There he is. I found him. I found him. All right. He's right out there. He should circle and come right in right now. All right. He's getting closer. Getting closer. He's dropping down. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he landed a good ways out there. A good ways out there. All right. Tell you what. We're going to pull some moves here. Whoa! Oh, I think it actually might work. Right over, right over, right over, right over, right over our head, right over our head. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my God, get him. Shoot, 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 shoot. We got him. Oh, we got more coming, more coming. That one's a little ways up there, but we could definitely hit that. All right. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wow. I thought we had a perfect setup. And the worst part is, I don't even know if we got the biggest one. The one that we really wanted to get. All right. Where's the goose that uh, Chase had over here? Did he bring it to us? Where are you at, buddy? All right. Go fetch him up. Fetch him up. I did not know that we got one way the heck over there. Look at that. Good job, buddy. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amazing job. 99 yard shot right to the breastbone. One shot took down that goose. That's the one that we sailed way out there. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. We got more geese. Oh, yeah. Lots of geese coming in. All right, buddy, lay down. Oh, a giant four. That might be the same one that we saw last time that we tried to get. I'm not sure if it's a different one or not, but we're for surely going to get him this time. Another one there. Yep, good looking goose. All right, let's get ready. He's the second one. Actually, he's the last one right here in the back. The last one. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this collar works so much better. Oh my god. They're right on top of us. Got him! Woo! Where'd the rest of them go? Oh, they didn't take off yet. No wonder why. He's hit! He's hit! He's hit! He's hit! All right, got a couple there. We literally had a misfire, or we had a miss uh, reload. We shot and then it didn't pump. So we shot again and then I guess it technically was a misfire because nothing happened. But that's mainly because we didn't pump a new shell in. Okay, this time when they cup up and they come in, we're gonna take as many as we can. Last time we were kind of holding off and waiting for that big four to come in, which we did actually get in the end. So it did work out, but we also messed up on getting a lot more geese that we could have potentially had as well. Oh, look at this. They're coming in perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Take him! Tripled up! Woo! Quadrupled up! 100% right there. Quadrupled up on geese. That was awesome. And that one just piled up right there. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect. That was beautiful. All right, Chase, go get him, buddy. We're going to have just a stack of geese piled out here pretty soon. All right, go get him. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. All right, we're going to try and get a nice little stack of them here, and then we'll get a picture. Oh, look at what's coming in. Another flock. And another flock. I feel like there's way more geese now than what there used to be. This is unbelievable. Oh, that goose is right on our head. We're taking this one. Smoked him. And that one. 
He's hit hard. And that one. Got him. He's going down. Woo. All right, go get him, buddy. Yeah, a couple of these geese here are a little bit too far for him to get. Because the thing is, they're tough. They soar a long ways before they actually do go down. And just another endless amount of flocks coming in. All right, we got more geese circling. We're going to try and take down a couple more right here. This whole flock is coming right over our heads. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. Got him. That one's hit. But he's going to go a long ways. Whoa, 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 whoa. That goose is right on our head. Whoa. Whoa. That's another double. Good boy. Oh, there's one right there. We probably could have had him as well. All right, buddy. No barking. No barking. All right. I mean, couldn't have been any more perfect than that. Really couldn't have been. Oh, he's hit hard. Come on, go down, go down, go down. Buddy, bring them on over here. Good boy. Stacking them up. What do we got? Eight keys, sir? Go get them, buddy. And there's another one. That should make nine. If we could get one more, we would have ten. I believe there should be one more out there somewhere. Yep, there is. That's going to make 10 geese. Look at that. This is pretty as a picture. Why'd you drop it over there, buddy? Put it over here on the stack. Oh, we got more geese coming in. Whoa, let's get prone. That one landed about 50 yards out, so that's fine. As long as they don't land right on our head. If they land on our head, then the problem is they spook the rest of the flock before we can get any of them. All right, should have gotten a couple. Did we get one? I had to have gotten one. Should have gotten two, but I think we only got one. Good dog. Right into the stack. Awesome work. There may be one more over there, but I don't think so, actually. Because we'd probably see it over there. Oh, one's going to land, too. 50 yards out. Dusted him. Perfect. All right, buddy, go get him. <laughs> oh, that was cool. All right. The last goose. And that should make 13 geese. If we can get him to drop him right here. All right, buddy, come here. We're going to take an awesome picture. All you got to do is face this direction and... Nope. This direction. There you go. Perfect. Stop, 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 stop. That'll do. Hold on, buddy. How about that, huh? How about them apples? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Nice stack of 11, actually 12 geese that Chase got. Every one of them. 
12 geese and I believe nine quail. Not bad for a day's hunting, huh? I think so too. Can't quite get the one in the front, but that is one hank of an amazing stack of Canadian geese. All right, let's start picking some of these up, shall we? So there's a female, 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 50 yards, female, 20 yards. There's a male, 58 yards, female, 20 yards, female, 75 yards. There's actually our first gold male that's only level three, but a 70 yard shot. There's our huge four, a 67 yard shot, 7.82 gold brown hybrid. That's our biggest one so far. There's a female. There's a female. Female. And a female. And I think that should be it for all of our geese. I'm sure there's a couple more that we sailed off somewhere, but for the most part, that is a lot of geese. We ended up getting 13 Canadian geese and I believe nine quail. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are all excited for the new Labrador Retrievers to come out tomorrow in Call of the Wild. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Atta boy, Chase. You did such an amazing job today, buddy. Such an amazing job. Good boy. Thanks for the help today. Thanks for the help today, buddy. Good boy.